In this video, you'll learn the steps to add and configure various options for a deployment using the Oracle Golden Gate Configuration Assistant. After installing Oracle Golden Gate, run the Oracle Golden Gate Configuration Wizard, or OGGCA, to set up the Service Manager and add deployments. The OGGCA utility is located in the bin folder of the Oracle Golden Gate home directory. You can also run OGGCA in silent mode, but for the purposes of this video, the OGGCA wizard is used. When you run the OGGCA utility for the first time, you get the option to create a new service manager. You can then add new deployments to the service manager. On the service manager options screen, add a location to the service manager deployment home directory. For better manageability, select a location that's outside the Oracle Golden Gate home directory. Enter a host name and port number that'll be used to connect to the service manager. You can select register the service manager as a system service to avoid manually starting or stopping the service manager when the host server restarts. The integrate with XAG option configures the service manager to integrate the deployment with an Oracle grid infrastructure for Oracle database. This option is disabled if you choose to register the service manager as a system service. Click Next. On the Configuration Options screen, select Add New Golden Gate Deployment. Click Next. On the Deployment Details screen, add a name for the deployment. Select Enable Sharding if you want to use shards with your Oracle database. Select Enable FIPS mode for better security of Oracle Golden Gate processes. Click Next. On the Deployment Directory screen, enter the location for the Deployment Home Directory. Oracle recommends that you create the Deployment Home outside of the Oracle Golden Gate Home Directory. Select Customize Directories to change the location or names of the configuration directories for the deployment. Click Next. On the Environment Variables screen, check the environment variables are configured for the deployment, the database server, and the operating system. For example, make sure that you set the TNS admin variable if you are working with Oracle Database. Click Next. On the Administrator Account screen, you can either add a username and password for the deployment or enter the username and password for an external identity provider for user authentication. Oracle Golden Gate currently supports Oracle Identity Cloud Service, or IDCS. You can use these credentials to access the Service Manager and other microservices. Click Next. On the Security Options screen, select SSL TLS Security to set up a secure deployment. Make sure that you already created your wallets or certificates. Add the location of the server wallet or use a certificate with a passphrase. Likewise, add the wallet details for the client side. Click Next. The Advanced Security Options screen lists the Cypher suites available with TLS 1.2 encryption, which is selected by default. Although you can choose the Cypher Suites as required, you can also select all of the Cypher Suites and the encryption would be applied sequentially based on this list. On the Port Settings screen, specify the port numbers for the OGG microservices. Select Enable Performance Monitoring and specify a data store where the performance data would be stored. You can use the default data store type, which is Berkeley Database or you can use Light Memory Database. Click Next. On the Specify OGG Replication Settings screen, add the schema name that contains the database objects owned by Oracle Golden Gate. Click Next. The Summary screen allows you to review the deployment configuration and make adjustments. You can also save the response file from this screen. Oracle recommends saving the response file for future reference if needed. Click Finish. This begins the process for creating the configurations for the service manager and the deployment.
the deployment configuration completed successfully. Click Next and then click Close to exit the OGGCA wizard. Log into the Service Manager to validate that the deployment was successfully added to the Service Manager. The deployment is listed in the Deployment section of the Service Manager Overview page. Be sure to check the Oracle Golden Gate documentation homepage on the Oracle Help Center for more insight into this product. Thanks for watching.